What's going on guys? Gomers here. Uh, perhaps you might have heard, or maybe not. Nobody's talking about the All-Star Game program that dropped today into Diamond Dynasty. 30 new cards, and we're going to rank all of them. And it just so happens that uh, the number one and number two best cards right on your screen right there. So no need to watch the rest of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, surely they're both going to fall in the W tier. We have a lot of new cards today. There's a lot of split opinions on them. I'm going to give you nothing but my honest and truthful thoughts on each one. Uh, I'm not going to have any bias, not even towards a certain, you know, Louisa Rise. I'll give you my complete honest thoughts here. Leave your... Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel uh, if you do enjoy, and let me know your thoughts below on what cards are going to fall in W tier, L tier, and mid tier. We're going to rank them on that scale and uh, give you my top 10 overarching afterwards. So, let's go ahead and get into uh, what I like to call the, well, the NL least, uh, the NL West, uh, not too impressed here. Uh, Joe Mantiply. I mean, if there's ever been a guy who deserved to be in the All-Star game, it's probably him. Uh, I'm very shocked, yeah, I should say, that he's not opening the All-Star game. A true, a true travesty, right, that he is not starting. Brian Snicker, you bastard, for not allowing him to be there. Uh, he's a lefty with the sinker, which is good. However, he has no velocity. Kyle Hendricks is going to throw harder than him. Um, yeah, decent. He's going to fall in mid-tier. CJ Crone. He's a first baseman, right? He's got really good contact, right? He has good gold defense, but he has 88 contact and not a crazy amount of power. I know you see the flames shooting up there, but I think he's overcompensating for something. 105 and 106, that hardly deserves flames. Um, okay, mid-tier again. Tony Gonsolin, welcome to the God Squad. And by that, of course, I mean, God help me, why would they make this card so bad? Um, you know... 115 hit nine is great, and he's been really good for the Dodgers this year. He's a top three Cy Young candidate for sure. Sadly, he's a top three dust collector in MLB The Show 22. Um, he has not a lot of velocity. The pitch mix is uh, insulting, quite frankly, and very uninspiring. Uh, he's going to fall in the L tier. Manny Machado, I want to love this card, but I can't. 117.76 against righties, 91.25. He has inverse splits. Due to handedness and, uh, you know, 45 speed, he's got great defense, diamond out of the box, and he's going to get there uh, on his secondaries out of the box as well. First and shortstop. Um, Mid-tier, sorry, and then Carlos Rodon is also going to fall in L-tier. Not one W from the NL West, which is odd because uh, they've been racking up a whole lot of them, you know, like the Diamondbacks and Rockies, mainly accounting for the bunch there. Uh, Rodon, again, a case of not any great pitches, um, there's just nothing crazy about this card. I like the velocity differential, you know, like, uh, I feel bad, you know, like when you get a shitty gift and you're trying to name something positive about it. It's kind of where I'm at. I'm grasping at straws here, uh, but they're paper straws. They're falling apart. Um, we have Wilson Contreras. He's a W. This is not the best catcher in the game. This is not better than Napoli. However, he is one of the best bench bats there is. And when we still have Randy Johnson, yes, we got a lot of righty pitchers today. He kills lefties. 90-82 is not abhorrent. It is not unusable. He's a great catcher defensively. In 65 speed, you can use him in the outfield in a pinch. He's a very valuable player to have at some point in your team. One of the best versus lefty bench bats and can also, you know, fill out a role at the end of the game. Luis, uh, Luis Castillo little stutter there um nobody's going to be stuttering over this card it's a w tier uh circle change up sinker i like it a lot he's got some velo he does uh does indeed have outlier on that sinker which is a hot take you know we're gonna see that a lot today a lot of outlier everybody got it um i like the card a w tier for sure corbin burns sadly is gonna beat him <laughs> well shocker there right he also have outlier on the sinker and do note that live series quirks are on these all-star cards which is great for guys like soto that have eight not so good for mantiply who has zero a goose egg uh, he's great. He has really good control. 107 hit nine. Eh, you know, maybe you'd like to say that 110, but 107 is fine for now. Uh, he's got a great mix. Uh, really happy with that card. Uh, David Bednar. I don't know who'd be happy with this one. Uh, I mean, wow. The Pirates only have one All-Star, and this is what they get? Come on. Come on, some slack. Give him a break. Really? 
Not a good card. Paul Goldschmidt, L tier, surprisingly, right? Uh, Goldschmidt, he's going to fall in W. He could have been better, you know, 191 is good. It's better than 91, 100 contact righties, uh, power righties, respectively. Um, just not as much power as I was hoping for. Uh, fielding is good. 46 speed is all right. Uh, he's going to crush lefties, 125, 101. Uh, w tier, but not a Frank replacement, sadly. Now move on to the NL East, the NL Beast, Dansby Swanson. 110 contact out of the box, uh, good power. Uh, he's got second base and third base at a diamond shield at P4, diamond out of the box at shortstop. 83 speed, absolute W, one of the best cards out of the bunch. Sandy El Contra, 111 hit nine, circle that right there. Circle the outlier sinker. This gets a bit different than Corbin Burns and uh, Luis Castillo. Hard to think of his name there. Probably because he's uh, not going to be a red for too much longer. I hear he's going to be a twin for a small package of Miguel Sano and a buck of the bubble gum. Um, which is half eaten thanks to Sano. He couldn't manage the whole bus ride to Cincinnati. Um, very good card. The sinker and four seam bleeds together a little bit at that velocity with the outlier sinker, but still a very good card, and I look forward to him. Edwin Diaz, uh, kind of card you have to try for yourself. His arm slot makes the two seamer better than most two seamers. Like sometimes you throw one, it's like you leave a soda out too long. That shit is flat. It's a little better. It's 97 miles an hour. He has 84 pitch break on it. He throws hard. He's got high hit in K per nine. He's going to manage in mid-tier, even without some mix of speeds, like a changeup would have made that card a W. Bryce Harper, speaking of Ws, he's going to have one right here. Only hole that you can poke through this one is uh, the 82 power against lefties. Woo, uh, that is not ideal. He does have a nice amount of speed in the outfield, uh, which is certainly going to be fine there at the corners. Uh, good card. Beautiful swing. Every time I look at this card, all, all I can help but do is just kind of sigh. You know, like what could have been? <laughs> what, what a travesty. Really? I mean, the Home Run Derby cards are probably going to have more contact than this. Maybe that'll be an upgrade. Who knows? Um, it's going to be in mid-tier, and that really pains me to say. Justin Verlander also is going to be in mid-tier here. Uh, he has none of the highlight pitches, no sinker, no cutter. Not that it's a damn necessity. Randy Johnson doesn't have him. But I'm sorry to say, Verlander, you aren't quite Randy. Um, for a few reasons. One, that your name's Justin. Now, you're also married to Kate Upton. Hey, that's, that's better than Randy. I, I suppose you, you got that on him. Uh, but otherwise, just a decent kind of card. Uh, Shohei Otani. Uh, you know, great against righties hitting-wise. Pitching is all right. That, that's the big thing. The hitting's good, but there's not really enough reason to use him pitching. 78 BB9. I've been talking about this. I put that a lot more stock into BB9 than I did previously. Uh, due to new explorations and new discoveries there. Um low w tier paul blackburn w tier for him sinker cutter combo what a chad you know the a's future is bright with paul blackburn uh he's gonna lead the renaissance uh surely they're gonna make it out well i was gonna say make it out of the first round of the playoffs they gotta make it first uh hey you know if they do rest assured there's gonna be eight thousand people showing up to see it nobody's gonna forget that julio rodriguez um small w righties i want better if he had 100 great massive w he's got 99 speed he's a great defender he's got max arm strength he's gonna crush lefties and i like his swing but 90 86 is tough against righties uh, martin perez lefty sinker cutter combo automatically removes you from any possibility of elf here but i didn't like uh, his first card i didn't like his putm I don't know why this could be a small W. I'm between high, mid, and low W uh, for Martin Perez. Somewhere in that middle. Uh, Andres Jimenez. Uh, decent. I want more. Power against lefties at 68. The same thing I'm going to say with Tim Anderson. I think he's slightly better because he hits lefties better than Jimenez hits righties. But that is what it is. That, that's just ranking the two of them. I still have problems in the row and the right. Their power against lefties and against righties is a problem. Great contact, specifically for Tim Anderson, 107, 125. But it just makes it a little difficult. They're both like in that small W, high, mid-tier again. Gregory Soto, 
is probably maybe one of the best cards in the game due to his position we need lefties oh fuck everybody if i told you at the beginning of this uh you know before we saw any reveals uh that left-handed soto is going to be one of the best team affinity cards of the game they're like fuck yeah there we go baby got my new outfielder nope you got your brand new reliever who's got 24 stamina you know hard to really quantify how far that's going to get you into a game my guess would be um you know, whatever a two-pump chump equivalency would be to pitching. So maybe five pitches and have the red meter. They're like Albert Pujols in the home run derby tonight after three swings. And, uh, time out! Time out! Maybe they'll have to have him get two, maybe even three, so he can muster through the whole timer. Uh, ben Intendi is a small W, 125-72, 104-74. He's got a great swing. He's a good defender. It's a right card. Not going to use him, but that's fine. Um, of course, we were all waiting for this reveal. I said I'd give my honest opinion. This is better than Jackie. I personally... Okay. Truly, how is it even possible that there is a card that is a 97 overall that is not a good hitter? He hits for no power. He's not fast. He's actually a decent defender. A 85 fielding. He's going to have a gold shield at every secondary, but wow. The disservice they did to arise you're gonna keep that same energy when he hits two two home runs tonight right noted i better see a 125 max card when that drops there tonight at four at 4 a.m pacific time jorge lopez one of the best cards of the game i wholeheartedly mean that so damn good outlier sinker control out the wazoo and pitch break for days uh jd martinez like he, he's mid because he has 40 speed He's mid because he's got cinder blocks, cement that's drying and trying to run with them. But he's a hell of a hitter. He is nearly max contact and like, plus he's Clemente if he was slow as fuck. That, that's essentially JD Martinez. Aaron Judge, again, I, I really wanted this card to be better, but 78 contact left. It's just hard to use. It's hard for all-star. It's difficult. 65 speed at center field. You have to drop him down to gold defense at the corners. He's a mid-tier card. I'm sorry to say. Shane McClanahan, I'm very sorry to say. This card's an L-tier. Got no good pitches. I don't know. I struggle to find anything good about them. And finally, Alejandro Kirk. Um, the singles machine. <laughs> That's what he's going to be hitting. This guy's never going to be single. 5'8", uh, 245. You're always going to have a lady at your arm. Uh, but this guy's just going to churn out those uh, hard-hit singles. And by that, I mean they're going to hit the top of the wall, but he's not going to get any further than first base. I mean, he might nearly get thrown out running there. Um, there we go. That's all 30 cards on a W, mid, and L tier ranking. Let's go ahead and label my top five, if you will. Again, let me know in the comments section your thoughts. Um, I'll go ahead and do this. So Jorge Lopez absolutely is a top 10 card. Same thing with Gregory Soto. These are maybe the best top one uh, reliever at right-handed and left-handed pitcher in the game. Really good stuff. I am going to say that um, Sandy O'Contra is going to be there. Same thing with Corbin Burns. Uh, that is for Dansby Swanson. Uh, probably that's my top five, I would say. Then... At that point, uh, let's see here. Paul Blackburn, maybe at number six, I would say. Again, a loose ranking. I'm just labeling ten guys that I think are the best. Uh, Tim Anderson maybe falls in here. I do kind of like that card. Um, I know that's not the highest praise that I could give him. Wilson Contreras certainly should find his way in there. Um, Paul Goldschmidt, I do like that card. I wish it was a little bit better, but I do think it is solid. Uh, like, Otani's close. I know some people don't mind pitching with him because I still see him occasionally online. The hitting stats make him better, but yeah, I'll give him a shot. As with all pitchers, you really have to get your grubby, sweaty little mitts on there to actually, you know, get a full gauge of how good they're going to be. So there we go. All 30 brand new featured program all-stars ranked. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like down below if you guys did enjoy. And get ready for some big gameplay that is coming shortly in the next few days. You won't believe. <laughs> uh, much watch till the end. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Everything comes out. Yeet.